all right class, so glad you could all make it here. Um, today we're going to do a talk on why a Popeye chicken sandwich is better than a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And maybe uh, some people may disagree with that statement. We're just going to get into all this right here. Uh, I'm sure we might have to get ready to unpack over here. We're going to be here for a while. So first things first, the sauce. Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich has some kind of spicy mayo sauce. And Popeye chicken sandwich has something very similar to that sauce. And really, if you think about the sauce, it's what makes the sandwich, right? Because the chicken is great, but the sauce is what elevates it to the next level. Mm -hmm. But speaking of chicken, right? Let's talk about the chicken between the chicken sandwich of Popeye and Chick fil A. In a spicy chicken sandwich from Chick fil A, the spiciness is infused into the chicken patty itself. And that's great. They are good at making chicken sandwiches. However, however, I think that Popeyes is better. They don't imbue the spiciness into the chicken patty itself. They imbue it into the sauce. So that allows them to have a quicker response time and they don't have to pre-make their patties. Okay? Okay. Also, on top of chicken patties, the crispiness factor. In a Popeyes chicken sandwich, the chicken patties are a lot crispier, right? I think that if you were to compare a Popeye chicken sandwich to crunch style to a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, you're actually going to get a whole big difference. If you bite into a Popeye chicken sandwich, you're ah. But a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, you're uh huh. And this is not to say that Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich is bad per se, but I just prefer the crunch from a Popeye's chicken sandwich. One thing I dislike about most chicken sandwiches, from most places, be it spicy or regular, I suppose, is the pickles. Pickles are just really bad, in my opinion, and I think we shouldn't have them at all. I think if we were just to get rid of the pickles altogether, we would have a, on average, better product. So, I've talked to you guys a lot about chicken sandwiches and a lot of stuff. But there's more to a sandwich than just the chicken and the sauce, it's also the bread itself. Both Chick-fil-A and Popeyes use a brioche bun. I don't know how familiar you guys are with baking or bread or anything, but brioche is pretty bog standard as far as buns go. They're better than hamburger buns, but if you're making a brioche bun, oh, you're doing something good. I think that both of them do a pretty good job as far as buns go. I've had good buns and bad buns from both places. I guess it depends on the store, right? I really think when the bun is curved, it has a nice glimmer from it, like butter on over, slightly toasted. You don't want a soggy bun because that's just no fun, right? I think we basically covered everything we can compare the two sandwiches on, but um, let's talk more about the logistics of it. At Chick fil A, they are open six days a week, and they close around what, like, 10 p.m., I believe. I think it's, uh, here, uh, check, check that out quick. Thank you so much. Um, but Popeyes, they're open seven days a week. So inherently, it is automatically superior because it's open for another day. I think that uh, just the right to have a sandwich on any day of the week is better than the right to have a sandwich on six out of seven days a week. Right? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of chicken sandwiches. That's what I believe in. Also, let's take a step back here, right? We've talked about which day of the week we can get a sandwich on. We've talked about the sandwich itself. But there's more to life than just a chicken sandwich. Let's talk about some of the sides. I wholeheartedly believe that people like the sides at Popeyes more than Chick-fil-A. When you think of when you think of sides, right? What do you think about them? French fries, of course, right? What what are we about? And this might be a little bit of a hot take. I understand you may or may not disagree with me, but at Chick Fil A, I do not like their French fries whatsoever. I think that they're just so bad, and if, I don't know anyone who ever actually enjoys eating them. I think it's just something you have. You never actually want them. Just come across them. 
I think uh, something better than the French fries at Chipotle Hotel, but those Cajun fries from Popeyes, those are so good. The Cajun fries from Popeyes are absolutely amazing. They're crispier, but the kebab fries at Chipotle are huge and soggy and are not fun. But the Cajun fries, let me tell you what, the Cajun fries have seasoning, they're about crisp, they're thinner, they're easier to eat. I just, so good. And then the sauce availability, right? The chicken really got like the honey uh, up here, the sweet, the sweet sour sauce on that. Ketchup, they're really good stuff. But the Cajun sauce is that Popeye's so much better. Blackened ranch, habanero ranch, um, everything that is barbecue sauce is even good. Better than all barbecue sauce, I'm saying. I just think that there are just a wider variety of options in there. Beverages, um, I'm not going to go into that. It's a whole different lecture. We'll cover that next week. For our exam, but you don't want to worry about it. Um, just for this exam, you just want to be able to know the definitive factors which uh, differentiate Popeyes from Chick fil A their sandwiches, their size, and their availability. And I'm sure with all that, you should be good. All right, any questions? Come on, don't be shy. You're getting paid for you, and you paid for me to be here. Yeah, hey, you in the back. Oh, oh, good question, good question. So, what uh, the students over there brought up is the ethical practices of Chick-fil-A and some of the moral standpoints we should hold and based on the beliefs of the company. I, for liability reasons with Brown, I do not specifically endorse any beliefs or anything to say. It's all just stuff from your course packet, your textbook, and so on. Um, nowadays, there's been, well not nowadays, I suppose it's been coming on for a while, there's been an ongoing topic of discussion, mostly heated, but people have come to believe that Popeye, I mean, sorry, excuse me, Chick-fil-A is homophobic, right? Because the founder of Chick-fil-A and the CEO, I also believe, are known homophobes. They have not been very supportive of their cause. And that's terrible. I believe that all people should have the right to love whatever they want. And there shouldn't be any dis discrimination based on gender. But I don't think those beliefs transfer over to a sandwich. Right? A sandwich is a sandwich. The reflection, right? you could have a sandwich cooked by a racist. It doesn't make the sandwich racist, right? However, at the same time, we do understand where people are coming from when we say that by buying a sandwich from a pop you are paying them essentially and supporting their ideas. To me, it's a bit of a stretch, but I do understand where some people come from. Uh, Popeyes is pretty neutral in most stances. I, um, I, I think Popeyes is fine. They've got a huge, huge support in minority communities, more so than um, Chick fil A does, I believe. Um, someone has got to check my stats on that. It's been a while since I've watched uh, this last semester. But I just think that we could all benefit from being more open. But um, yeah, that's where I stand on that uh, standpoint. Critical question. You won't need to know that for the exam. I, I think you're fine there, but good thinking. You know, I love your questions, right? It makes this class so much better. Anything else? All right, well, I guess we can wrap up class today. Um, remember, we've got class again next week. Finals coming up. No stress. We're all gonna be fine. Hopefully, you guys have a rest of your day. Don't get to the Indian Valley. And I'll catch you guys later.